So, you guys, the next, the next few that we're going to do is, I have a, a long piece of angle iron, a couple of holes, and a little chamfer, a little cut off on the side. And so I want to put this on a, on a drawing. I'm going to make a drawing. Okay. Third angle. You can see it adjusted my scale for me. To figure out what scale would fit on that paper. So I'm just going to do a model view. I'll do a front. Is that really the best way to do that? What's a better way of doing this drawing? Yeah, is there any way to make it bigger? Break it up. Nice, nice. Yeah, I can do a break. Yeah, uh -huh. On the view, break. There, to there. And they make it bigger? Yeah. Okay. Now I just need to go into my, my view. Now, so we can get a quarter scale, I can make it one to one. Now I can really see that chamfer on it. Maybe if I even made that gap, which is five, bring it in a little bit. Now I can mention that out. Do I need to mention that piece of angle there? No. That's the standard shape. So I'd put a note somewhere. that note they know what it is. Actually, I would probably fill it into that material filled there. So let's see where this material filled is. So I right click, edition format. It's from the sheet.
Um, this is one of the ones that's kind of screwed. So it went from the model. SolidWorks, the how the naming convention for for that is it because it said it came from a sheet, right? That tool took off. PRP sheet. So I figured that meant it was coming from the sheet properties. But it didn't. It, it actually went back to the model proxies. So sometimes you can't just rely on what this says, and you have to, to know where, where it's from. But so, so this is stuff that's come from the model. The name here actually does come from the sheet, though. So if I filled in the properties here to the drawn by. That does fill in. So, and then when I save it, I save as. It changes that. Do I really need this view at all? No, not really. I could if I want to. Maybe if I just want to show where the hidden lines are. But remember, if you're not dimensioning a view, you really don't need it. So I might leave it on just so they can see that, yeah, that is a piece of angle just by looking at it. And then in that case, maybe put a reference dimension on it. So that, yeah, those are reference. Now if it's got a dimension on it, meets that rule. Uh, there we go. So any questions? This part is on the H drive. Go ahead and do that. Just 